is Lorianne from It's All Primary and it is Boom Day! Yes! You asked, you're getting! <laughs> a few of you asked for a tutorial from beginning to end on creating boom cards and also uh, worksheets and you are going to get them. And today it's about boom. So before we get started, because it's a long video, three things, three things, and I've already forgot one. <laughs> three things. First one is, during this whole video, I'm going to be making reference to a checklist. It is a to-do list for Boom, so I created this and call it a Boom-do list. I hope that's not, I hope that's appropriate. You can find this in my website. I will put the address right here, itsallprimary.com, and I've specifically for this occasion have created a pop-up within the first couple seconds of you being on the website you will get asked to sign up for the Teacher Side Hustle Club. It needs a new name. And you will receive this. So when you sign up for the Teacher Side Hustle Club, you will get an email probably every other week. I'm not very good at this. I'm working on it. And in that email, you will get tips, sometimes apps or websites that are really good. Maybe a good Facebook group that I've landed upon upcoming YouTube videos, and occasionally a poll to find out what you would like the next video to be, or sometimes maybe even a vote on thumbnails. So sign up for that. You'll get this printed off right away because if you are creating your boom cards with me, you might want to have this. And it's, th it's three pages long. So that's number one. Number two, this video, as I've said, is long. It's just over, it's just around an hour. And I would really, really, really appreciate it if you would allow, if you would watch to the very end or at least let it play to the very end. <laughs> One of my goals is to be monetized this year on YouTube and watch hours are important. And so if the more people that watch this from beginning to end, the better. If you think of me once in a while, throw on a playlist and just let it play on your on your tablet or on your computer. You don't even have to sit there and watch it. Just let it play. <laughs> but to help me out with hours. So that's number two. I remember the third thing. I lost uh, I lost about 16 minutes. And it was actually during an important part. is how to get it from PowerPoint to Boom. Creating JPEGs. I am very sorry. There is another video that I made. I will I will make reference to it some somewhere down I think around the 20 20 or 30 minute mark there'll be a reference to it another boom tutorial is coming so I will make sure to get it done there I don't know what happened it's a black screen just one of the many things that happened while filming this video <laughs> let's just get this going get yourself a nice warm cup of caffeine or a good cold glass of water <laughs> have us find a comfortable seat with your laptop and have the video open on one side while you work on Boom on the other. We are doing this from PowerPoint. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Okay, <laughs> some of this is gonna be done in sections. We are going to follow along with this. If you are making Boom cards for your students, then you can skip the first couple steps. But if you are creating Boom cards for the purpose of selling, then let's do this from the beginning. So it starts with your potential topic. Now my potential topic is going to be money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into the search bar of TPT and I'm going to type in money. And if, as you can see on the suggestions, and the suggestions are there in the ranking of which one gets uh, searched first. So money is number one, but you can't have a one word title. They really discourage that, both TPT and Boom. Counting money is next, so that's a possibility. I could do that one. Canadian money, I will be doing that. I'm gonna actually make this set that I'm doing with you, I'm gonna make it again in Canadian and I tweak, change it a little bit because I get Canadian and American sellers or buyers. Money worksheets, money word problems. I'm doing Boom cards. So I'm gonna go back to here to this counting money. So the other one I'm thinking of is, let me just type in counting coins and see how counting coins comes up before counting money. So that is the one that I'm going to consider doing. Now the, 
I have that. So I'm going to quickly write this down. He's counting money, counting coins. I want to find another keyword because the more keywords I can put in my title and make it sound normal, the better. I'm going to try mixed. Uh, second here, coins. Oh yeah, counting mixed coins. So if I go to counting, it's not as high. It would have showed up on that top five because it's not there, It's but it's still on the search. So it's just not as high as those ones. But if I go counting M, then I get mixed coins show up. It comes up counting mixed coins. So I can do either counting coins and I can say mixed or counting mixed coins. So I'm, I wanna use those three words as part of my topic. So money is my topic. My keywords are counting coins, mixed coins, something in that effect. And I'm also going to say US coins because again, I sell to Canadian and American uh, teachers. Okay, so I've got my two things. Now, counting objects is one the skill, right? Counting is a skill. Understanding value is a skill. The value of the coin, not just understanding value in itself. Understanding the value of coins. Clip art. Clip art is next. Now, I am a lover of educlips. And so I have usually almost all of my backgrounds are educlips. 95% at least. And then I use KG fonts. And I do the same ones all the time. And you'll see them in a moment. We're going through this. I'm on number four already. You, get, you do this a few times, you can whip through this really quick. And then it's always there. Sometimes you'll get a phone call in the middle of things and you come back going, what was I even doing, <laughs> right? I can look at this going, oh yeah, okay, I know where I am. Now the marketplace, this one right now is just boom. But if I, you know, if I'm deciding to sell this, and I will eventually, sell this on TPT. I'm putting TPT on there because there's some extra steps I'm going to have to do. I have coins for clip art as well, and I'll have to check to see what that clip art artist is. But I do, I did find some really nice American looking coins or American like realistic coins. Uh, the amount of cards, my goal is right now is to keep them around 20 to 25. And the grade is between K and two. I don't think I saw money on the kindergarten common core, but it's definitely there in the grade two. I'll have to check the grade one. I'll double check that. And then the price, when I can do these fairly quickly and I've only got 20 cards, I usually only charge 10 cents a card. Unless it's gonna take me a lot longer. Many teachers do 20 cents a card. You do you, right? So right now I'm looking at a $2 price range. That's one reason why it's not going onto TPT because I don't wanna put $2 and less products on TPT because of the fees. There's too many fees. Even with even as a premium seller, because it's under $3, you get hit, it's 80%, so that's 20 cents off right there. And then it is actually, 80% of two is, is 40 cents, sorry. So it's 40 cents plus an additional 15 cents. You know, you're getting a dollar 45 or something like that. We've now got that filled out. It And it took, I'm just looking up at the clock, it took a little over seven minutes. We've done the research, we've planned, we've determined the grade. Now, on the second page of this is an idea of what you want to do. I've only put three slides because I don't think you need to draw out every single slide, but every time you're considering a change. So maybe you want to rephrase the question. So for example, I'm going to say, you know, I do a lot of the how much. So that will be my first set of slides. So now, and again, I like to give them two to three different types of questions. And then the layout, I have a piggy bank. I'm just gonna write this down, piggy bank. I also, my other coin boom cards were the beach and sand and the treasure chest. And I might, I'm still toying with going back to that. The next uh, set of questions is I wanna put drop money in a piggy bank. And I know there are lots of boom cards out there doing that. So I'm gonna try and, I'm thinking of dropping money in a bucket <laughs> instead of a piggy bank, we'll see. So that's my second layout. 
and then my third layout is a sort okay so again I'm just putting notes I might not have to I might not need to draw it out I might need to draw it out. I might have to figure it out that way but I like just writing it down okay and then the third page you know as I'm doing one set sometimes I get these brilliant ideas and then I I think I'm going to remember them by the time I'm finished my cards I'm usually not so if I have it this close by I write things down we've got a rough sketch we've got our clip art and fonts time to create so let's get off tpt we are going to make these boom cards using powerpoint so let me get into powerpoint let me close all right we are in powerpoint i'm going to go to a blank presentation hit create and right away the size of this slide is too long so you go up to design and over to slide size and boom cards fit a standard four by three four to three ratio so click there and then get rid of the boxes and now i want to um, format the background so i'm going to click there picture and texture fill and then i'm going to go to my backgrounds and oh i got an idea see this would be sometimes you get an idea as you're doing things okay this might work I need a background. I, I remembered I have these submarines. They might be kind of fun. I don't know, we'll, we'll take a look. I'm just, like I said, this is one of the things why I like to write things down. I might go off on a tangent and then forget where I'm supposed to be. I like the black around the frame. I'm not gonna put in the text. I like to put the text in boom when we get there because sometimes I need to move it. And if it's, if it's stuck on that slide, I can't do anything. So here is my background. I am going to insert some submarines. I just thought that might work. As you're adding your clip art and your fonts, write it down on this right away so that you're not having to figure out what, what you're using later on. Creative Clips is this one. Okay, let me write that down. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, that's cute. Oh yeah, green. Let's insert another one. Let's turn that one around. Rotate it horizontally. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can actually, if you've got a file that you think you're gonna go back and forth a lot, you can pull that file and put it right onto your desktop and that makes it easy. I do that with numbers a lot. I'll just I'll just move it over there and then try and remember to move it back into the my clip art file folder. <laughs> I, I'm looking at that coin going, something is wrong with it. So I had to go into my boom and look at which ones I actually used from a previous set. And while I was there, I got grabbed a glass of water and some pumpkin seeds, so. Okay, back to scheduled programming. Let's start with some dimes. And I like to use the, hmm, maybe we'll use that side. That was actually an idea I should probably should have done. I should have used both of them. I might fix that. Does it look good there? Hmm, not really. What if I just put some dimes in the water? Let's see what this looks like. And you need to leave um, room to put your answer in. I need something on the beach here. Maybe I'll put a crab. I think I had a crab in another one. Actually, I'll do a bucket because I think I'm going to do the bucket thing. Which color? Let's, let's do the purple one. Wait. Very big. Okay, let's do the bucket. I'm going to move that one a bit. Do we need a sun in the sky? I put it over here. I'm gonna put it over there. I'm gonna put a sun up. There we go. So there's slide number one. Now I just duplicate it, make it a few times, and again the how much one is going to be. I think I'm gonna do because it's mixed coins. I think what I'll do is I'll do maybe ten.
Oh, how I entertain myself. <laughs> I might have to change the background. It might, it doesn't give me a lot of room. I'm gonna change the background because I, I'm not sure if that, in my head it looked one way and it's not looking that way. Underwater, underwater. I've used this one in the past, so this one might be. I can do more with this one, so. All right, there we go. Okay, I can put a lot more coins in now. That's good, that's what I needed to do. I just go go to a previous slide and hit copy. And that way I don't have to keep going back in and out of uh, files. Do this again. Let's go to boom and we'll pop our our slides in. Ooh, we have network issues. And my battery is really flashing at me. So if I, we go back to the sheet here, we've created our, oh, I know what that, uh, there should be a line there. <clears throat> I didn't put a line. Create on PowerPoint, I did. Now we, we've converted them, We're op we've opened up boom. We're going to go to studio. I could have just added the images there as well, but I can, I'll show you another place where you can put them new deck and then we're going to add cards and they're not in here and you're thinking you but i can go up here to this corner where it says upload and i can put them in there i can find my folder which was called oh there it is it just popped up there you go and so we've got 10 of 12 slots one two three four five six so they will all they'll populate real quick here and then I can just click on each of them. And they're out of order. That's fine. And now they're in there. All right, so I can go to slide one and I can type in the text. I'm gonna give an audio, so I need to have a little bit room over to the left. How much money is there? Use my font that I like, 32, a little bit bigger. Battery just died. So if you are a YouTuber, always have two batteries. <laughs> this has helped me to no end. All right, now we're back in here. You could do this as a multiple choice answer, which I think for the bigger ones, I might do that. Or a fill in the blank. So let me go to fill in the blank. And what I always do is I put a sense sign Double tap, and I forgot how much it is. 25, 50, 75, 85, 92. Is that, I don't want that my, as my first one. That's too much. Let's start them small. <clears throat> so we got 92, and then I'm going to insert another text, and I'm gonna put the sense sign. Mm, alt, three, four, it's four, alt four. <laughs> Four on the Mac, anyways, 92 cents. One of the things I like to do is you, you can randomize your slides, but I like to just as an introduction, I will keep an easy one at the top and then I'll ask the system to just not randomize the first one. I have to put it in the um, template card, then that way I can just adjust it a little bit. That's fine. And I can also, I won't do it, but see now when I open it up, now it's on each of the questions and there's space over there. Now slide number two should be a problem. Which 
one is the... See, and then there'll be a lock on there, which you can unlock and move it down if you wanted to. It's already got a little bit of space because if you see, the black line is just inside the frame. But now I've got, oh, and see, here's where a problem is. So I put that too high. I gotta unlock it and put it up higher. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. Actually, this one's going to be a sort. And this one, that's not good at all. So I'm gonna move this. But it fits there too. It's fine, it's fine. The kids don't care where the question is. So now we're going to just quickly finish populating these ones. The, you have to hit the get rid of it first before you submit the new one. Everyone will have their own way of doing things and that's fine. You know, it's gonna be what's, it's what's gonna work for you, really. I think the higher ones, I'm going to give a multiple choice. Oh, I know what I forgot to do too. One of the things, when you preview this, I like to have a border around the where the answer is going to go. Click on there, border. Hey babe. Yeah? What do you think? If you like these click with me videos, please, please let me know in the comments. Whoops, I just did TM. <laughs> trademark. I did a trademark video, a couple of them. It's something and now I'm constantly aware of trademarks. 27, okay, we're getting close. Oof, <laughs> okay, I'll hang on a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Interruptions, <laughs> when people know you're home, they're like, I can phone her, she's not busy. <laughs> no, my, uh, yeah, I needed to take that call and then the battery, so the battery's already died, the card has been already full, so I've just switched cards. We, sh we should be able to make it for the last leg of this. And while I was talking on the phone, I was make I was working on this, so I was like, oh no! <laughs> we are, I'm just making, I'm just finishing off these ones. I'm going to actually do a multiple choice because this one is a, let me just pick one. Oops, ah, tricky. Multiple choice, click on one, delete. There we go, I'm going to delete again. No, it's not going to do it. Delete again. Okay, we want two. No, so we need to resize that. This is the only, one of the downsides to creating in, J, in Google Slides or even PowerPoint. If you don't leave room, you can't fix it. You just can't fix it. You've got to make it work. So we'll do this. What I do is I get rid of the 
outside border, make it transparent. I'm going to get rid of the background, which is gray, make that transparent. And then I will put the answer in. And you can decide whether which one's correct or which one's wrong, because it's over here, if you notice, it's randomized. So they will randomize those. And now, how much is this? <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and we'll make that bigger. Not as big as about 64. 64 is too big. 48. That's still a bit big. 36. Yeah, 36. Previews I love. And I'll use them sometimes all, you know, I haven't been doing them a whole lot because I'm talking. Okay, but preview it just to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's 78. <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> I'll put 72. One of the things I try to do is write down all the answers ahead of time to make sure I haven't overlapped any because I'm noticing that I'm not, a lot of these are higher amounts. Very few of them are lower amounts. And so if a student is just learning how to count coins, this is, these numbers are high. So I'm going to have to make sure that the uh, sorting or the dropping into the buckets is much easier than this. Okay, so the 10 are done. Now we're going to do, um, uh, oh no, the bucket, yeah. So we're gonna put a bucket in this one and we're gonna say drag, drag um, 45 10 into the bucket. Move that over. Actually, no, it's okay there. So insert a bucket, let's get the image. It's a clipboard, here's the bucket. Now, do I want these hidden is the question, and I do. So first of all, I need to put some coins. And then I'm going to um, make it draggable, and then I'm going to duplicate it. Zone. Okay, and then a nickel. Okay, and then what you do is you, okay, um, I have to figure that out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so all of them have to go in. Then I need to duplicate this. Move it away. Clear the drop zone again. Make it draggable. And if, if uh, that was how I showed you that hidden picture no not hidden picture I made a I made a video on this not too long ago so I just you have to make it just a bit bigger and then I just preview it just to check 45 45 45 45 oh that's not good You know what, I don't really, I think what I'll do is I'll do stew dimes and um, I'll make a, I think what I'll do is I'll change that to a dime. I'll just keep them all dimes or all pen, or nickels or all pennies. I think I'll do one of each. Change the image. Thirty cents and then I can change 
and I move that away, click on the flag, exactly three on the paper clip, and then move it back. 30 cents, okay, and then we'll do it again and do it with nickels. And then we'll change all these to nickels, change image, nickel. Make sure to always preview these things because I was I did something with sandcastles and it didn't work. And I, I'm so glad I previewed it because it just didn't. See, look. Yeah? Because I drew the line when it was, it will still say yes, but it doesn't hide it. Got to make sure. Okay, I've done that one. You've got to make sure that. So I got to get rid of that for a second. I'm gonna. You got to clear this one and do it again. I don't know if that'll work. That was weird. That was weird. Weird, man. Weird. No, see, look at that. Okay. And and you know you need to anticipate sometimes these things will happen. So what I gotta do is get rid of this over here and I've gotta clear this up and start over again. One two oof, three four five six. All right, and five. Now let's try it. What is wrong? It just doesn't like this coin. See? And now if someone... Oh. Hey everyone, this is Lorianne. I am coming on right now because during, I had less than about a half an hour before I was about to upload this to YouTube and I lost four segments. I'm like, what? <laughs> just adds to the, <laughs> just adds to all the stuff that was happening with this video. I am sorry, this is not the director's cut, <laughs> but when I, I, I just need to make another one. I will make another one will do it properly but you are going to now lose you are not going to see the some of the drop and drag stuff and the audio recordings and the final preview where i take screenshots you'll i've left in little bits of me talking it's not very exciting but anyways i am so sorry another video is coming i promise you <laughs> <laughs> this is so sensitive when, whoops, whoa, that's not good. When it, you know, when you start getting problems like that, it's not worth it, just get rid of them. <laughs> so here is one of these dilemmas. Uh, you, you've, I can, you can already see that this has taken an hour, roughly. And how many hours do you want to spend on making cards that are only going to be, uh, you know, $2? I could just leave it at this point and make it 15, and then I could make another set and, and try something else with sorting. Because again, I don't want to spend so much time for the sake of, a, you know, $2, which and less 15 cents, right? Or 30 cents. So I think what I'll do is, just again, thinking of keeping mindful of the time, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to put it in another set, and I've done that before. So now I have my, I got 15. So I'm gonna go preview them all and I'm gonna take a couple screenshots as I'm previewing them. And on the Mac, it's just um, Command Shift 4. That's done. On your sheet, it says, do you wanna take a 15 second video? I'm not going to, right again, I'm just keeping mindful of the time, but I can do that in QuickTime on my computer and then 
I need audio instructions. So most of them say how much money is there. That makes it easy. So that's one sound bite for 10 slides. And then I have to do the sound bites for each of the drag so much money. So now what I need to do is I need to get into, let me close this, and I need to get into GarageBand. So we're gonna do that. And then we're going for the cover. We're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Marathon! <laughs> Feel free to throw questions in down below and all I need to do now is add it. And I'm just going to close that. As I was saying, now we're just going to put the sound bites into this and it's done. And except for the, the details, right? So we you click on sound, drag it up, and it's not there, of course, so we're going to upload sound, and we've got drop. Actually, what I like to do is I change my icons to last added, or date added, because then they're, they're right up at the top. Two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. And which one am I going for? Uh, how much money? Move that over a little bit. And I, ah, oh, you know what I wanted to do? Okay, card full again. Heek. All right, I think we're we're drawing. We're getting close. We're getting close. <laughs> I keep looking at the list. It's it the list helps you stay focused. What I have done, while well, just I didn't realize the card was um, full and I was still talking. I moved the sound into the template so that when uh, that. So once I have it in there, it's now on all of the slides. And now I just have to change the sound for the five that I've done. And I've got to move the little sound micro the speaker on some of them. So I'm just going to go in here. And I don't, know if I, I, if, I don't know if it picked up on the last one, but if you look down the corner, it'll tell you which sound bite is on each slide. So most of these are all how much money. I'll move this one up a little bit. <laughs> Looks like uh, Abe's got a mask on. Hello! Hi! Yep. It's <laughs> funny. All right, there are the first 10. Now, I need to change the sound bite for these ones. So again, click on there, go down to where it says change sound. The first one is 45. And then go to the next one. What are you doing? <laughs> this didn't happen an hour ago. When I take a break. <laughs> Crazy cat. Crazy cat. Drop 30. Sound done. Now we're going to be doing. Uh, we gotta go and create the cover in Canva. What are you doing, you silly? Why are you running around? If you're not on Canva, you are missing out. <laughs> I love Canva. I've said it that many times too. They don't, I don't even get logged out of Canva. I'm in here so often. One of the things I've started noticing when I'm, you know, buying different programs and things is, you know, you can get free months if you pay annually. And if you are getting a regular TPT income or boom income coming in, it might be worth, you know, every quarter buying one of these programs so that every quarter you've got one payment. And and hopefully you're making enough money that your <coughs> your earnings, depending on what you're doing with them, are are paying for all these things. Okay, go to designs. I'm just what I like to do is I just take a previous boom card and I have one where they were in the water so I'm going to grab that one 
if I can find it. I wanted this one actually. I wanted the American one because it's American coins. I don't think I, I didn't, the other one said US. Okay, so what I do is go to file, make a copy. And so now I'm in a copy, so I'm gonna go boom. Counting coins mixed. <clears throat> and then I just get rid of things. Take, get rid of that. Change the wording of this. Counting mixed coins. I get rid of that completely. It is 15 slides. And now I just have to drag one of the screenshots that I took in there. I'll take that one. And that one looks really busy, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks busy. <clears throat> but anyways, that's, I think this is going to be a set that I might go back and tweak later. But there you go. See, now it's done. <clears throat> How long did that take? Not long. <laughs> and then what I do, actually, I'm going to change the background a little bit. Go to photos. I'll go to beach. Actually, I'm going to do ocean because most of it is under the water. Dolphins won't show up because they're right in the middle of the picture. I think I might give that a background. Elements. Try and match one of the blues. So there is a um, card cover. And before I, I get out of here, I'm going to quickly do a pin while I'm while I'm in here. I like to do the two of them together. All right, so there is the, <clears throat> and I'm going to move that. Actually, I'm gonna make that one lighter. Move that to the bottom. Move that to the top. One section. Where am I going to put this? I'm going to make it bigger for one. Use one of the other slides on my desktop. Okay, now I want to make it a video pin. So I'm going to look for some animated el beach elements. Like animated. I'm going to do dolphin because I think there is one. Yeah, there it is. I've I've used it before. It's a free. <laughs> oh man! Free phone calls. <laughs> they were they 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 conspired. <laughs> they were like she's she's filming. Let's phone her. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, as you can see. And I, you know, and I keep working, even though things stop, I just, my, my fingers just keep going. Here is the video pin. I just added a moving dolphin and a little turtle done. So now the pin's done and I can publish it straight to Pinterest or I can schedule it for Pinterest, but it's good to go. So now I've got to go back and download the cover. I'm really thinking of move keeping this. I think some of my pages are too hard. I'm just, I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to see. I might, I might make some more pages. So download. 
you can you can take your you can take these and, and download them straight into Boom. Where with TPT, a lot of times they're a little bit too big in size. You can resize them, um, or you can just take a screenshot. We are almost done. We got we're down to the last two. Let's see if I get a phone call for the last two. <laughs> okay. Details, details, details. I'm going to go up to cover and I'm going to upload and I can, hello, there it is. <clears throat> and, oops, oh, I didn't even, turkey, click on, there it goes. Okay, so now we're going to do counting. We're going to go back to our information at the top, right? So we're going to do counting mixed coins US mix I should do mixed US coins US coins okay grades oh I'm gonna do two three because it's I think it's harder okay then my keywords were counting money counting coins mixed coins US coins. I'm going to put the price at 150. I'm going to not shuffle in one. Subject math about Pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. There are two types of questions. Determining how many and dropping coins into a bucket. Boom cards are perfect for home learning remote learning and hybrid learning. Use them in the classroom for whole group instruction or math centers. No prep and self grading. And right, and then the acknowledgements. I've got clip art. Oops, edu clips, creative clips, joyful learning, and then fonts, KG fonts. Done. Now, this is where I would hit publish. I'm not going to hit publish. <laughs> I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of them. I'm going to add some more easier ones. So I'm going to, I am going to add five more, but I would normally just hit publish. And then I would go back. I haven't uh, sent that pin off. I would go and send that pin, but I'm going to, I'm going to fix it. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not going to get it, but some of them I made way too, I think I made them too hard, but that's it. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> you made it. Congratulations. You got to the end. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This was a, a true labor of love. Uh, I, I didn't even, I didn't even like this set, this deck by the time I was finished. I've already, um, changed some things. I did do a sorting bucket. I made those little buckets, you know, the buckets in the, in, on some of the slides. I put price tag, I put um, amounts on each of them and then they would sort dimes, nickels, quarters. But it, it's even that, it had, I had some of the similar problems that I had with in the video. So I'm going to tweak this and do it again. Now, in the meantime, again, thank you so much for sticking around. I'm still going to do another Boom uh, tutorial from beginning to end, but I'm going to do it within Boom. The last three or four sets that I've done straight out of Boom, not doing PowerPoint, 
I've done them in a, an average of 15 to 20 minutes and they've been very easy. This, I don't know why I made this deck so hard, but it was. I am going to have a much easier deck in that tutorial. If there are any other tutorials you're interested in, please make a comment down below. I do have a, I do have on my list a tutorial to do to create worksheets. I'm going to do some math worksheets for grade round grade two, grade three. I've already got it started, so I will be giving you a tutorial on how to make worksheets, PDFs that will probably be compatible with easel as well. So that's coming next. The next video, which will be coming out on Tuesday, March 30th, I think it is one of those days is a TPT income report. How did I do? You'll find out. <laughs> if you can give this video a thumb up and click subscribe if you have not done so. You've been here one hour and you're not subscribed? What's wrong? Come on, subscribe. <laughs> Just kidding, no pressure, no pressure. Wink, wink. <laughs> in the meantime, wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe and loving one another, and we'll see you, you know where, in the next video. Take care, everyone.